Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the unboxing of the Hermit Crab. Let's get started. As you can see, it is sealed in a plastic bag filled with oxygen. I will just need to open the plastic bag and pull them out. This is a strawberry hermit crab. It is in red color with white spot. Looks very similar to the color of strawberry, hence the name. The scientific name of this species is Coenobita perlatus. Now I will put them into the top and give you guys a closer look at this crab. At first glance, you can mistake a hermit crab to a snail as it has a snail shell on it. The truth is that shell is not a part of its body. It is just an empty seashell salvaged by the hermit crab. The shell acts as a protection for the soft abdomen for the crab. It can also retract the whole body into the seashell when threatened. There is only one hermit crab living inside one seashell. This is where the name of the hermit crab derived from. Strawberry hermit crab are not as common compared to other types of hermit crab in the hobby as they are more challenging to take care of. Plus, they can live up to 30 years in the wild. Thus, they are not recommended for beginner. Please do your research thoroughly before getting one. First, you will need to get more than one hermit crab because they can get lonely without friends. However, do not place them in the same tank with other species of animal. As for feeding, hermit crabs are not picky eaters. I mainly feed them with food pellet for shrimp. I also offer some fruits such as oranges, mulberry, shrimps and carrots. 3 to 4 times every week. Now I'm going to set up the enclosure for the crabs. You will need a tank 2 feet or larger to house them. Floor space are more important compared to depths as they need more floor space to crawl in. However, the tank need to be more than 1 feet in depth as the hermit crab need a thick substrate to burrow during molting. You will need to have more than 4 inch thick of substrate. I'm using cocoa fiber as a substrate. They have a fluffy texture that is very easy to dig in. They also retain moisture very well. Strawberry hermit crabs needs high humidity in order to breathe. We need to have humidity above 80%. So you will need to mix the tank regularly in order to maintain the humidity. Now I'm placing two water blows on the corner of the tank. Make sure the depth is enough for the crab to fully submerge inside. I will explain the reason later. Now I'm going to place some decoration and shelter. Strawberry hermit crabs are great climber. 
so make sure the tank are tall enough to prevent es escapes. Hermit crabs need to change their seashell on their back as they grow, so I will prepare some shells into the tank. Now I'm going to prepare the water for the crabs. Hermit crabs need both fresh and salt water. Before this, make sure the, all the water used inside the tank are dechlorinated. For both dish, I'll fill it with fresh water first. I will add approximately 10 grams of sea salt on one of the bowl. Now I'm going to introduce the crabs into the tank. That's it for today and thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Subscribe for more interesting video ahead. I will see you in the next video and thanks for watching.